I'm going to show you how to set up a highlight interaction between one visual and a scatter plot like this over here. Now, you see the size of the bubbles changes to differentiate between the items that are selected and not selected. We also have only labels for the selected items and we apply transparency to the items that are not selected. Now, let's see how we can achieve this. Now, to build a scatter plot, pretty straightforward. We just take the visual, go here to the build panel, and then we can say what we want on the x axis and the y axis. And then I want to have the breakdown by manufacturer. Now, the problem at the same time is that, well, obviously it filters the scatter plot and it shouldn't. To work around that, we need a separate table. Let's go to our data model and add a table that contains all of the manufacturers and the information about the sales and the discount. I would like to have this relationship on the manufacturer. Now, that means if we take manufacturer from the output table, it will filter the product and that filter goes to sales. However, if I take manufacturer from the product, well, it doesn't filter that little helper table over there because that arrow that you see on that relationship line, that indicates the filter direction. Now we're going to take sales, discount, a manufacturer from that helper table. Over here, I make a selection for a manufacturer. And with a measure, we can pick up which one is selected. And on that basis, we can make the bubble sizes here in the other chart a little bit bigger or smaller or whatever we want. Select it, go to the build panel, and then here, place it on size. It might be that you still have to adjust a little bit either in the measure, that's one option, or you can also go here to formatting. And then here, the overall size, you can also make it a little bit smaller. Let's also select DigiOnce and Cybrick. You see those are then the bigger bubbles. Now, here it's still a bug. You see it gets cut off. A little bit annoying. Two ways to solve that. Now, one option is to go again to formatting for the scatter plot and then just hard code the maximum. Now, to fix the color, I prefer the measure option because, well, that gives us a little bit more flexibility and also allows us to apply transparency to those items that are not selected. Now, once the field is gone from the legend, you will have a nice little FX button showing up there under color. So we can set the color using measure. So let's write our color measure. Click on that FX button, and then here we can choose the field value. And then here we just have to type in CF. CF color pops up, there you go. And now we can use that same measure to apply the color also to the bar chart. And now we are always sure that they're exactly the same colors. Now we get to the second part of our requirements, and that is that I want to apply transparency to those that are not selected. That is actually kind of easy. We just have to make a change to the measure that we just wrote. Now I'm going to make a selection. You see, only those that are selected have no transparency. All the other ones have transparency. 